Ever wish you could hit rewind on life? Like, nope, let's try that again. Uh, yeah, we've all been there. But what if those, like, mess up and try again moments, what if those are actually making us stronger? Interesting. That's what we're going to dive into today, right? This whole idea from uh, Zen Secrets about how embracing imperfection the Zen way could actually be the like the secret sauce to becoming more resilient. Right. It's a little mind bending when you really think about it. I mean, everything around us is all about be perfect, strive for perfection. It is counterintuitive, yeah. So how does this whole Zen approach, how does that even work? Well, it reminds me of a Zen story, actually. Yeah. This master archer is teaching his student and he says, the perfect shot. It's just the arrow hitting the target. Doesn't matter how many times you missed before. It's about accepting those misses as like part of the journey. Okay, I kind of see where you're going with this. It's like, think about learning to ride a bike. Exactly. You don't just hop on and like effortlessly cruise, right? <laughs> you wobble, you fall, maybe skin a knee or two along the way. Yeah, and every time you fall, you get back up. Mm. And you're building resilience without realizing it. Right? Hey. You learn to adapt, you figure out what works. Eventually, you're writing with confidence. So Zen philosophy is saying we can take those same skills, those same lessons, and uh, apply them to all of life challenges. Exactly. What if, instead of seeing setbacks as failures, we saw them as opportunities, like chances to learn and grow? So even those moments, like when things completely blow up in our faces, those can be valuable. Absolutely. Yeah. Because here's the thing, when we resist what's happening, you know, when we fight against those ups and downs, we just create more suffering for ourselves. Mm. But acceptance, and this is important, this doesn't mean giving up, right? Mm. It's not apathy. It's just acknowledging, okay, this is the reality of the situation. And then we get to choose how we respond. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. And it reminds me of something else from Zen Secrets that really stuck with me. It's that idea of facing challenges head on instead of avoiding them. That's how you build inner strength, right? It's so true. Way easier said than done. <laughs> right. Like it's human nature to avoid things that make us uncomfortable. Wow. But um, it's like working a muscle. Okay. Yeah. If you never challenge it, it gets weak. And resilience, that's like a muscle too. It gets stronger when we go through those tough experiences. Mm -hmm. So this isn't about like purposely seeking out pain or anything. Yeah. It's about changing how we view those challenges, right? Those inevitable bumps in the road. Would you say that's accurate? Yeah, exactly. It's less why me and more, okay, what can I learn from this? Because at the end of the day, we can't control everything life throws at us. Right. But we can learn to navigate those challenges with a little more, well, a little more grace and a lot more resilience. It really makes you think. If we can't control the things that happen to us, maybe the real key to living a good life, a fulfilling life, is mastering how we respond to those things. 